An electric motor is used to pump 368 kilograms of water per minute from a river into a dam, 33 meters above the level of the water in the river. If no energy is dissipated, calculate the power the motor uses to transport the water. Okay, so if we have our river running down here, okay, and it's running through a mountain, and on the top of that mountain we have a dam. Okay, there's our little dam, and then we have pipes running up here, sucking in water through some sort of motor, and that motor pumps it into this dam. Now this height here, the height that we have here is 33 meters and the amount of water is 30 368 kilograms per minute so what do we actually have okay we have delta H height okay we also have mass per minute now we're not working with minutes we're working with per 60 seconds okay so we have in 60 seconds so we have time delta T and during that time we have mass okay and we have displacement height Okay, so which ones of the formulas will help? Well, this one, force times velocity or watt per time. This one looks a little bit more, although both will work just fine. Okay, but I'm going to work, use not watt per time, work per time unit. Okay, I'm using work per time unit and work is calculated by taking the force in the direction of displacement times the displacement but again all the, the only thing that work is doing is it's overcoming gravity that is what the work is doing in other words the work is equal to the change in potential energy okay the work needed is being used to change potential energy so instead of using that we may simply use mass times gravity times delta H okay um, over time Okay, so excuse my very ugly formulation here, but in the end, that's what, I, what I'm going to do. All the, all the work is doing is it's changing displacement, uh, sorry, potential energy. And therefore, work goes into changing potential energy. How much does it do per time? And that must give me the power that I need, okay, for the motor. So, what do we have? We have that mass, if I'm working on a 60-second basis I get to transport 368 kilograms gravity we work at 9,8 displacement okay in height is 33 meters and time is 60 seconds and let's calculate that 368 times 9.8 times 33 is equal to divided by 60 okay 1983.52 so the power needed is 1983,52 watts and that's the power of the motor